All right, good morning everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 107. Today we're talking about using percents to name parts of groups. So to kick it off right now, percent literally means out of 100. If you had 12%, it means you're talking about 12 out of 100. 25% means 25 out of 100. 90% means 90 out of 100, and so on and so on. And we already should know some basic percent equivalents to fractions. We should know a half equals 50%, and a tenth equals 10%, and a fifth equals 20%, and so on. But what do you do if it's a percent you don't have memorized, like 3 sevenths is what percent? The easiest way to make a fraction into a percent is to make an equivalent fraction with a denominator out of a hundred. But it can't always be done. If you were trying to turn 15 out of 20 into a percent, set it up times what fraction that's equal to one equals something over a hundred. That's pretty easy to do, right? So you go 20 times what equals 100? Well, that's easy enough. I could go and multiply the denominator by 5. And if I'm doing the denominator by 5, I got to multiply the numerator by 5, right? 15 times 5, that is 60. So now if I have 60 out of 100, it's pretty easy to know what percent it is. It would be 60 percent, right? But it's not always that easy because sometimes you have a fraction that there is nothing you can do to the denominator to make it equivalent to a hundred. There is absolutely no whole number I can multiply 30 by to get it to equal to a hundred. In that case, the other way to make any fraction into a percent is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So if you were trying to get 10 thirtieths changed over into a percent, divide the denominator into the numerator to start off with. But you're looking at it going, but wait a minute, 30 doesn't divide into 10. And the second step you have to do is add two zeros to the divisor. If I was trying to go 30 divided into 10 or 10 divided by 30, I have to add two zeros to it inside the box because percent means 100 and 100 has two zeros. And then we're going to go and write any remainder as a fraction. So I could go and start dividing into 100 right here, right? 100 divided by 30, that's going to be 3 times. Multiplies back 4, 90. It's going to go ahead and subtract 4, 10 more, right? Go ahead and bring down that last 0, and I'm back to dividing again. 100 divided by 30 again is 3. Multiplies back for 90, just like it did the other time. And again, it's going to subtract 410. I have no other numbers to bring down, so I could write my remainder as a fraction. 33 and 10 thirtieths, but hold on, 10 thirtieths doesn't look like that's in lowest form, is it? I could go and divide both sides of this fraction by 10 and end up with 10 divided by 10. Hey, that's 1. 30 divided by 10, that's going to give me 3. And I don't want to forget at the very end to bring your whole number back over, giving me a final answer of 33 and one third percent. So let's take a look here. 10 of the 50 apples were green. What percent of the apples were green? So let's start off right now with a fraction. 
10 out of 50, right? And we got two different ways we could try to turn this into a percent. First, is there anything I can do to make an equivalent fraction with a denominator out of 100? I think 50 times something is going to equal 100, right? What is that something, that fraction equal to 1? I bet you I can multiply 50 by 2. And if I'm multiplying the denominator by 2, I got to go ahead and multiply the numerator by 2 to make a nice equivalent numerator. So 10 times 2 is 20. So now that I have 20 out of 100 and percent means out of 100, it would be 20%. Check out this one. 8 out of 20 students are boys. To start off with, with the first question mark, they are asking, what percent of the students are boys? So 8 out of 20 are boys. So let's get it set up. 8 over 20 is the fraction I'm starting off with. Is there anything I can do to the denominator of 20 to turn it into 100? I bet you there is, right? So let's go and start getting it set up. 20 times something is going to go and give you an equivalent denominator of 100. What's going to be my magic number I have to multiply in the middle? In this case, it's going to be 5. 20 times 5 is 100. If I multiply the denominator by 5, I better go ahead and multiply that numerator by 5 also, giving me an equivalent numerator of 40. So I now have 40 over 100. 40 out of 100. So what percent is it? It would be 40%. So let's go and take a look at the second half of this question. Now that I know 40% of the class are boys, now they're asking us what percent of the students are girls. So you got to think about that whole class. You're starting off with an entire class, which would be labeled as 100%, right? Now let's think 40% of that class was boys, and they want to know what percent is girls. Well, 100% minus 40 more percent, and that's going to leave you 60% of the class being girls. Check out this one. There's 200 beads in all, and they want, and they're asking, if 60 beads were red, what percent were red? Well, you're starting off with a fraction that's 60 over 200. So it's going to be a little bit different this time. 60 over 200. I still want to go and, first of all, try to make an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100, right? Is there anything I can do to 200 to try to make it equal 100? Yes, there actually is, but I'm not multiplying this time. I better go and be dividing 200 to make it equal 100, right? So 200 divided by what is going to give you 100? Hopefully you know 200 divided by 2 is going to give you 100, so 60 divided by 2 is going to give you a numerator of 30. So now if I have 30 out of 100, my percent is going to be 30%. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second half of the question. Now they're asking us, what percent were the other colors? So again, I'm starting off with all of my beads. So all of my beads is 100%. 
then I have to go and take away the percent that were red because now they want to know what was the other colors. So I have 100% for all the beads. I'm going to take away 30% and that's going to leave me 70% for the other colors. Five out of the 14 students brought a kite to school. What percent of the students brought a kite to school? So let's see how this looks like as a fraction. Five out of 14. Is there anything I can do to that denominator of 14 to make it equal 100? I don't think there is any whole number I can multiply or divide 14 to turn it into 100. So looks to me like we got to go to plan B and I'm going to have to go and set this up as a divide problem. I first want to take my denominator of 14 and I'm going to divide it into my numerator of 5. But I also want to go and add two zeros because percents are out of 100, right? Now let's go and start dividing. I'm going to start off trying to divide 50 divided by 14. And I think that's going to go in there three whole times, multiplies back for 42, and it's going to subtract 4, 8, right? Bring down my last zero, park it in right next door, and now I'm ready to start dividing again. 80 divided by 14, and I think that will go in there five times. Multiplies back for 70, and it's going to subtract for 10. But I'm not done yet, so I have 35 and 10 14 so far, but I have a problem. 10 fourteenths, those are a pair of even numbers, right? So I better go and reduce this. If they're both even, I can divide them both by 2. Now I'm ready. I'll go 10 divided by 2, and that's going to give me 5. 14 divided by 2, hey, that's 7. So I got my fraction reduced, but don't forget to bring over your whole number. So I have a grand total after I bring my whole number over of 35 and 5 sevenths of a percent. Last one right now. Here it says 5 minutes is 1 twelfth of an hour. So 5 minutes is what percent of an hour? So let's start off with our fraction, 5 twelfths. 5 over 12. Is there anything I can multiply or divide 12 by to make it equal 100? I don't think so, so I'm going to have to go to plan B and set it up in a divide box. So I got the numerator of 5 as the dividend. I have the denominator of 12 as the divisor. But I'm not quite done yet since I'm trying to turn this into a percent. I better go and write in two zeros, right? Now I can start dividing. 12 is going to divide into 50 four whole times, right? Multiplies back for 48 and it's going to subtract for 2, right? Bring down that other zero. And 12 is going to divide into 20 one whole time, multiplies back for 12, and it's going to subtract for 8. So right now, I could write it as 41 and 8 twelfths. But again, 8 twelfths, you got a pair of even numbers there, so I can go and reduce this fraction. Divide it by the greatest common factor. Let's go ahead and start dividing. 8 divided by 4, hey, that's going to give us 2. Do the denominator now. 
12 divided by 4? That is 3. But don't forget to bring your whole number back over into the answer, right? So I have a grand total of 41 and 2 thirds percent. So that, my friends, is the end. You are definitely going to want to have a scratch piece of paper and a pencil for the Socrative today. And good luck.